Hi guys, this is JP from FSI Panel. On this video, I will show you how to fly quick approach with the beautiful fly-by-wire A320neo. I have made a new way of positioning the aircraft and I will show you exactly the procedures now. I have been using the experimental version of the fly-by-wire A320 and I've tried as well the stable version. I tried both of them and it works perfectly well. Development version I haven't tried but I don't see why it shouldn't work so please comment below if it doesn't work. So please bear in mind with me, there is a new procedure to follow and for that FSI panel will install a model in your uh, community folder. So that will be done the first time when you start FSI panel and the Airbus is recognized, you will get a message and FSI panel will install a WASM model in your community folder. And then the procedure is uh, slightly different from any other aircraft to avoid a problem with the uh, flight control models giving us a direct low uh, malfunction if we uh, if we fly the aircraft directly from ground to uh, final or from ground to any other air position so let's see how we fly that together so i will push ready to fly and i don't touch anything in the cockpit as you can see the aircraft just loaded and now i will start fsi panel and see how we program that approach okay fsi panel is there and i will just select runway 14 in zurich you can see that the fly-by-wire A320neo has been detected. That's perfectly well, good. And now we will go on long final. Okay, so let's see what happens when we do that and we will do it together and you will see what you have to do. Move aircraft. The first thing you will see is the flaps moving to flaps full because we have flaps full for this approach. Once the flaps are at full, FSI panel will ask you to set your thrust lever to climb detent. So I will do that. And now that you are in climb detent, you will see that the parking brake will be released and the speed of the aircraft will increase, sorry, to 130 knots while we are stationary. So this is to avoid the aircraft detecting a problem with the flight control and giving us a direct low during the positioning. So just wait until you see 130, you have nothing to do, just watch and see. 130 knots, we will go in the air. All right, now we are in the air. FSI panel will take care of the FCU. You can see the altitude, the, the uh, heading, sorry, and the speed. And if we look down now, the new thing, FSI panel is setting your MCDU. So it will set the MCDU with the basic airport that we are flying in. Some numbers with a flight number, this is FSI 001 we'll get the cost index of 50 and we will get the cruising altitude. Now the weight will be initialized. And if you have an ILS approach available where you are flying, FSI panel will select the ILS approach for you. So this is new and it will activate as well the approach phase if you're on final. So now we can see that we are reaching 3,700 feet, which is what we want. So we are still preparing the approach. It will take another 15 seconds maximum and you will get the message ready to fly. So let's see that now. Aircraft ready. You get a message about the ILS frequency and the course just in case something is wrong. And to take the control of that aircraft, what you have to do is switch the beacon light off to take control. So right now I'm ready to take the control. As you can see, I'm perfectly aligned on the ILS. So the only thing I will have to do is switch off the beacon light. Don't worry, don't switch it back on. FSI panel will do it for you. And now you can arm your approach and we're not gonna get cat 3 single you can even go on cat 3 dual and you can go on manage speed if you want right this is the procedures and your beacon light is back on so let me show you something now in fsi panel i will just Go back to FSI panel and in the setup page you have the fly-by-wire tab now where you have a couple of options that you can select. Program FMC is straightforward. If you don't tick that uh, program FMC, then FSI panel will not care about your FMC. Then you can choose your default auto brake, which is off, low, medium or max. You can as well change your default landing flaps, flaps full or flaps three. And you have the after landing flow, which is new. That works after landing if you land the aircraft below and, and sorry, if you land the aircraft 
then you slow down below 30 knots then you just retract one notch of your flaps and FSI panel will do an after landing flow as per the FCOM. Right, so we are still in the air and we are about to land. We will try now to go in, uh, let's say, on a downwind position. So from that position here, my thrust lever is already in climb detent, so I don't need to do much during that. So let's go in FSI panel and select, for example, a left-hand vectors in Zurich on runway 14 and click move aircraft. So now what's happening, the gear is going up, the flaps are moving to 1 for the vectors. You just have to wait, stand by for FSI panel to do the work. And now we are going in the right position. You will see the programmation of your FCU, heading, speed, target altitude, vertical speed, and again, the uh, MCDU is programmed. We have the auto brake low as commanded. And now it will take again another 15 seconds until we are reaching 3,700 feet and until the MCDU is done. So this is the early phase. I hope it works on every computer. If you have any issue, please let me know and we can fine tuning uh, the systems to make sure it works on all computers and maybe improve uh, something in the cockpit setting. I need your inputs to do that. Right, so we are reaching 3,700 feet. As you can see, alt cruise. And we will get the message right here that we can take over the control. Switch beacon light off to take control. So again, just switch it off. Now you will see the message. You have control. And from now you can fly your airplane as you like. Arm the approach and do whatever you want. And the beacon light is back on. All right, this is how to fly quick approaches using the Fly-by-Wire A320neo and FSI Panel 2020. If you have any question, please do drop a comment below. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That will help me making more and more videos. Thank you and stay safe. See you next time.